What is going on YouTube? We are back with another video. We know it's been a while. It's been like two weeks. And in the last episode, it didn't even upload the right one. My apologies for that. But we got Snack Crate, not Snacking Saturday or anything like that. We got Snack Crate today. If you guys want to get some yourselves, go to snackcrate.com. You get them once a month. Anyways, today's Snack Crate is Italy. So this should be fun. Very fun. I don't know what they're going to have, but I'm going to show you guys uh, the fun facts of Italy right now. The foods that we're going to actually be testing right now. All right. <clears throat> We will get back to you when this is all unboxed. All right, guys, we are back. <clears throat> We're going to be doing this Italy snack crate. Looks like there's a lot of good chocolates here. And I don't know if there's stuff that's going to beat German chocolates, but it looks like some good chocolates. Good groceries. The first thing that we got to try, I'm going to pronounce probably every single one of these wrong, but it will be at the bottom. So just look for it down there. P.U. Gusto... Pomodoro, <laughs> delightfully crunchy potato chips flavored with zesty Italian tomatoes. Never know. That right there, I think. Yeah. Hope I didn't show you the wrong one. <laughs> See what we got. Yeah, it smells like a tomato. <laughs> I don't know. You smell ketchup on a chip. <laughs> You know, it's not bad. That's what I thought. Tastes just like glazed chips and ketchup. It's, it's not bad. Sad. It's good. That's pretty good. I really like it. I'm not getting that eight. You know, I'm gonna get it a good solid eight. Solid eight. Solid. <laughs> solid. All right. This next thing we got Fonzies. These bite size. Crispy baked corn bites are dusted with savory white cheddar cheese. White See? cheddar just might be better. <laughs> what ain't better be? Not what I thought this was gonna be. You think it will? No. Well, mm. it's kind of like those. They're pretty good. Cheddar popcorn. Yeah. But hard. Pretty real good. <laughs> I'm going to give that another good solid eight. I'm going to give that a solid eight. What? Eight. <laughs> two, two eights. That's really good. Really good. All right. This next thing we got to try, I think, is a Gala Door. You'll be ready to join La Liga after snacking on this fruity soccer themed gummy threat. Treat. Gummy treat. A little gummy treat. I swear I can't read today, evidently. My bad. I thought, I thought it said that. A gummy treat might be Jeez. nice and sweet. This is a rhyme video, by the way. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> I'm going to have to put these. This is the rhyme video. <laughs> Every time I hear a rhyme, I'm going to have to zoom it in on your face. That's pretty good, though. Very chewy. Uh, <laughs> very chewy. But very good. I Guess give what it a, I was going to say. What was you going to say? That's another solid eight. <laughs> That's three eight. I think I'm going to give that one a seven and a half. It was too hard for me. But it tastes good, though. I mean, it tastes all right, yeah. I gotta find out what this is, because I don't want to go to this. Yeah, that right there probably burn us up. Got a big pepper on it. All right, that right there is a... Corstini Dorada Vivace. These crunchy bite-sized pieces of Italian toast are infused with zesty paprika flavor. Great with a glass of Chignotti. It looks hot. It looks like it's gonna be very warm. It looks hard. Gone. 
Ooh, feet too. <laughs> yeah, they are. You know, there's a big red paper in here. They'll burn you up alive. It's it's thick, but it's not too slick. That's about a four. Real hard, real crunky. About a four. I'll give it a five. A lowest one yet. <laughs> not much on that. All right, Took Crisp. These savory potato base puff pastries are delightfully crispy and salty in every bite. I feel like this is going to be very, very plain. Never find that. It looks very... It's like a little cracker. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's plain. All right. I can tell. I think I'll give that about a five or a six. It's probably good for you, though. Nah, it's original. Similar to a cracker. I don't know about too good for you. It's all salty. Uh, anyways. I'll give it a six. That was pretty good. I mean, I mean, no, it wasn't pretty good, but these are about to be pretty good. Uh, did we try these? Yeah, they're gummies. Let's try these. Sperlari Grand Galice. These chewy fruit flavored gummies are rolled in sugar and wrapped for maximum snack delosi on the go. Loaded with sugar. Which one do you want? Pick one. Where? Try hack and... Nah, I just eat the whole thing. I got different flavor than you got. Well, I think I'll give mine a, like an eight and a half. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I give it a seven. You didn't like yours? That ain't bad. Seven's seven, bad. Seven ain't real bad. Seven's bad. <laughs> Seven's not great. It's... Now, we got one, two, three, four, five, six yummy treats left. We're going to go with this one first. It's soft as can be. You can fill it in. A Bellari chocolate crescent. Buttery and flaky crescent filled with rich chocolate cream. Try it with an espresso. So try it with coffee. I wish I had some coffee with me. It's got to be better. Now, heck, for this looks like a chocolate. <laughs> this looks like a chocolate sandwich. Well, what the? Yeah, well, it looks good. It's got chocolate in in the middle of it, like a like you'd uh, make donuts and put chocolate in the middle, but it's like bread. If I could have got some of the chocolate, hold on. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I might get that. That's a nine. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Like, <laughs> that and just they mean, it needs more chocolate in it. But it's good. It's, but it's pretty good. <laughs> that's a nine. That's the best one yet. We'll give that one a nine. We might get a ten in there. In there. We might. There's yeah. a lot of chocolate. Okay. I know what to What's make. next? I, you know, we're going to go with these. Probably. Ringo cookies. These sandwich cookies feature a crispy vanilla and chocolate wafer. Sandwiched together with a descendant chocolate cream. Bound be good. Bound be good. Bound be, right? It's like a big, uh, it's like a big oil cookie. Tastes about like an oil. Yeah, I gotta give another nine, though. You got it. You know what I'm doing? That's another nine. Another nine. We got to the ten. Yep, they could be one. Just hang in there. Just, it might, it might happen soon. Hang in there. They might be a ten. The Loker wafer. The sweet cocoa wafer cookies are sandwiched together with vanilla cream. Una combinazzi perfetta. That was like some Spanish. Oh lord. Oh lord. Here we go. This may be. You got two of them, didn't you? <laughs> this might be a 10. I don't know. That's pretty good. 
we found a tin, folks. Cocoa and milk. Oh, you tell that. You know what? We'll get this on a tin. <laughs> Definitely a tin. Yeah, that's a good one. The Loker Wafer from Italy. I knew we'd find a tin in this. <laughs> Just had a few. I, 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 you know, I still think there's going to be another one. Might be. Two or three more items left. But damn, the tin for sure. We got three left. <clears throat> Let's try it. <clears throat> Cereal Alex Snack Bar. These delicious candy bars feature crispy rice coated and descendant milk chocolate. A perfect mix of crunch and chocolatey goodness. Oh, that looks good. Let's see if we can top that big tin there. Mmm. I'll tell you what. That would be daggone good with some milk. I think I'm gonna get that one a nine though. Yeah, I'll start to say something. I'm gonna give that one a nine. I'm gonna get that top of ten. Or maybe one bridge will. If it had milk in it, like dipping in was some close. milk, that was probably good. That was close. <clears throat> but it didn't quite get Two more left. Mm. Let's try it. Mm. Let's see if we can top that big tin. Mm. 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 Rice chocolate sponge cake filled with this delicate milky cream and dipped in milk chocolate. Whew! Major Duke Roaches. Roaches. <laughs> it's like a cake or something. What's going on here? What is going on here? I can't get it open. No, oh, it's like a cake. Like a cake with ice. Golly. <laughs> And cream inside. It's probably be good. Um, I already tell you, it's another nine. <laughs> yeah, it ain't no ten. No ten on that. ain't no ten. But but it's getting close. Maybe a nine. I ain't gonna top this one yet. Maybe this one will. I'm calling it right now. I'm know. calling it. Oh, you know what? Let me just read it first. Where's it at? The Lupo. Choked nut. The three crunchy hazelnut embedded in a crispy wafer filled with chocolate hazelnut cream and dipped in rich chocolate milk chocolate. I'm calling it right now. It's going to be a 10. I'm calling it before we eat it. It's going to be a 10. Any hazelnut's 10. You're counting your chicken for the hat, Joe. <laughs> I'm geez. It's hard to beat a 10. We got what do you think it's going to be? I'm getting. Oh gosh, it looks hard. I don't know. I'm betting a 10. I, I get Give you a pin in here just shortly. Oh Lord, that's a pin. It has to be. You want it? It's just shortly. This is how short it is. What did I tell you? <laughs> I told you. This one. I told you. I told you. I told you. When you try. Hazelnut in anything Man. makes it better. Major. What a hazelnut ending right there. The Lupo Chocolate. I'm going to give that a 10 and a half. Because it topped that one. And that's a 10, so you know they're good. It's good. I'm going to have to eat that other one here in a second. Well, I was thinking. <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> Get me one, back. Though. On the videos. 10. Ten and a half. I don't think I got ten and a half on the whole show, but this this one done it. <laughs> well, boys, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Italy snack crate. If you want some yourself, you go to snackcrate.com. You order them. You get once at the end of every month, and it's like twenty five dollars. I don't know, but you get to try something new every month. So you know, it's something cool. You get a bunch right, of snacks. You eat them. You try them. We make videos out of them just for you guys to enjoy us and watching us act like retards. But Anyways, that's going to wrap up the end of this video. We hope you guys enjoyed the Italy snack crate. And we out. Peace.